Well, even with the overcast skies today, we did make it up to 66 degrees in Eugene, a degree above average for this time of year. Uh, we did start off at 54 degrees, though, so not too bad of a start this morning, and that's about where we're going to be as we head into tonight. Uh, we're looking at another day in the mid-60s as we head into tomorrow. But looking at temperatures across the entire area, we made it up to 59 in Newport, 64 in North Bend. Heading back inland, 64 was the high in Corvallis, 66 up towards Portland. Down towards Roseburg, you warmed into the low 70s, 72 there, Medford. 67 and out towards central and eastern Oregon we made it into the mid 70s in most areas and the hot spot of the day was Rome at 77 degrees there current temperatures near 60 across most of the area though slightly warmer down towards North Bend 65 there Roseburg sitting at 70 degrees already falling into the low 50s as you head out towards central Oregon now to take a bigger picture of what we have going on weather wise you can see those clouds not only stretch from western Oregon into central Oregon but now all the way into eastern Oregon all part of a big frontal system that is also producing those showers mainly uh, to, still to our north and west. However, you can see them beginning to fill in as we head further down towards uh, the southern part of the state. And those are going to continue to fill in as we head later into the evening hours and overnight. We're looking at another uh, half an inch to an inch and a half of new rainfall with this uh, line of uh, showers. However, we're looking at another system to move through and that is currently off uh, still well off to the west. But this will move into our area as we head into tomorrow afternoon and the overnight hours giving us another round of showers across across the area. So playing this all through on Precision Cast, we'll start it tonight at 10 o'clock. Uh, we have those uh, heaviest rainfall here. Once again, red indicating heavy rainfall, not indicating severe weather. You can see it's still located up to the north and west. But as we put this into motion, it spreads across the entire area. Begins to fizzle out, though, as we head into uh, your morning drive tomorrow morning. But as we play into motion, moving into tomorrow afternoon, you can see another front approaches our area, heaviest along the coast, and then moves across the entire area as we head into your evening commute right around 6 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, once again, rainfall or the red indicating very heavy rainfall, expecting about another inch or two across the area. And then as we head into Tuesday, things begin to break up a bit more. Uh, we'll keep an isolated chance, though, throughout the day. Now, along the coast tomorrow, highs will be in the upper 50s, near 60, rainy, but also windy. Could see someone gusts up to 35 miles per hour or so. Uh, well, the showers wrap up on Tuesday. We switch to partly sunny skies on Wednesday, then mostly sunny on Thursday with highs in the low 60s. Umqua Basin, mid to upper 60s tomorrow, rainy, still breezy with winds out of the southwest. Uh, we clear things out or begin to uh, clear things out or dry things out on Tuesday, excuse me. Uh, we'll have some clouds and fog to start off Wednesday, but switch to sunny skies later in the day, warm things up into the upper 60s and then near 70 by Thursday. For the Cascades, uh, low 50s in the passes, low 60s in the foothills, rainy day out there tomorrow. Central Oregon, highs will be in the mid 60s, showers as well. We'll see a, more, a few more breaks uh, because the Cascades will help break things up a bit. Uh, showers will wrap up on Tuesday. We switch to mostly sunny skies by Wednesday. Highs will be in the mid 60s for the rest of the week. For the valley, low to mid 60s tomorrow. Rainy, still breezy with winds out of the south, 10 to 15. Scattered showers on Tuesday. We'll have some clouds and fog to start off Wednesday. So just sunny skies later in the day. The sunny skies will last through Thursday and temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s for the rest of the week.